Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to build a machine learning API using FastAPI. FastAPI is a modern, fast and easy to use Python web framework that will allow us to deploy our machine learning models effortlessly. In this video, we will walk through the entire process of creating the API and integrating our pre-trained machine learning model, which we have conveniently saved as a pickle file using Jablab. I recorded three videos about this dataset and in the machine learning video the random forest regressor was the best performing model so I'm not going to train other models in order to finding the best one I'm only going to use the necessary code for training the model and saving it as a pickle file Here is the code for the training We are importing pandas, numpy, sklearn and joblib We are setting the label encoder, scalar, video preprocessing We read our data as a pandas data frame then we use label encoder and scalar, then we split our data by train and test sets, then we use RFR model random forest regressor with maximum features 3 and number of estimators 128, which was the best performing parameters in the machine learning video. Then we fit our model to our data, then we dump this as a pico file. Let's run the cell. And we can see the RFR model here. Okay, now we can start to create our API. Let's start by installing necessary packages from the terminal. We are going to say pip install first API and you record here. And it's going to be installed like that. Let's start by importing the required libraries in our app. We are going to say from first API import first API and we are going to import base model from pydentic import base model and we are going to import joblib here for loading our model what we are going to do next is we are going to initialize the fast api app for this we are going to say app is going to be equal to the fast api we imported and we are going to say app dot get define read root and we will return let's say hello and welcome to the machine learning api now we are going to load the model that we just trained we are going to use model is going to be equal to the job lib that load this time instead of dump and we are going to write the file name like this and here it is now we are going to create a data model using pydentic we are going to add the columns here. We are taking age, sex, BMI, children, smoker, and charges. Charts is the target here. And now let's say class input data base model. And we are going to use age is going to be integer. Sex is going to be string. BMI is going to be equal to the float children is integer and smoker is string here now what we are going to do is we are going to create the prediction endpoint we are going to say app dot post and in the predict here we are going to define a function with with the name predict and we are going to take the data from the input data and data dictionary is going to be equal to the data dot dictionary and we are going to say data dictionary sex column we will say label encoder dot transform data dictionary sex and we are going to say the element zero since we are going to use the label encoder, we are going to also import that. Let's say from scalearn.preprocessing import label encoder here. And we are going to say, let's just say that in here, label encoder is going to be equal to the label encoder here. We are also going to do that for the smoker. We are going to say data dictionary smoker is going to be equal to the label encoder that transform data dictionary smoker and we will take the first index here like this 
Now we are going to define x like x is going to be equal to the data dictionary h and I'm just going to copy this and now we are going to set the sex here and now we are going to let's just paste all of them then we change we will set BMI children and smoker the next step is we are going to say prediction is going to be prediction is going to be equal to the model dot predict we are going to predict the x we are taking and we will return prediction and we will return the predictions first element here like this and that's all it's this easy to create machine learning apis with fast api and now we are going to run the fast api app we created locally on the terminal for this we are going to come to a terminal here we are going to say unicorn app app reload here and i'm going to press to this address i'm and i'm going to give it to the screen here it is what we have when we click on that address and here we can see that hello welcome to the machine learning api and for testing our api i'm just going to open this website on my browser i'm shoving it on here i'm just going to open this the document section but before we do that i'm missing something here i need to use fit transform on label encoder instead of transform directly in this way it's not going to work i'm just going to change it as fit transform and fit transform like this and i'm just going to copy and i'm going to run like this and i'm going to say uvicorn app app reload and now i'm going to this page and i'm going to record that page here we are at our first api documentation page we can see we have a get method here and we have a predict method here now with try it out we can try our api i'm just going to change the example data with some sample data some random data and i'm going to press execute and we are getting 200 as response which means that our api call was successful and we can see the prediction amount content length and other things and here is our api that was all for this video thanks for watching if you like to see more data science content on your youtube feed you can subscribe to my channel have a great day